So this video will focus on the treatment of treasury shares as well as retirement of shares. So for treasury shares, these are an entity's own shares that were previously issued but are subsequently required but not retired. Under the corporation code, an entity may require its previously issued shares only if it has sufficient unrestricted retained earnings. So hindi tayo pwedeng mag-reacquire ng shares kung yung retained earnings natin ay magne-negative dahil doon. Kasi if you uh, remember in your basic accounting or uh, yeah, basic accounting 2, yung ating treatment ng treasury shares, di ba? Kapag magre-record tayo ng treasury share, meron tayong appropriation ng retained earnings. So, treasury shares are accounted under the cost method and as a deduction to total shareholders' equity. And when treasury shares are issued at less than cost, the excess of the cost over the reissuance price is debited to the following in the order of priority. So, take note, no? Na ang order natin ay una, share premium muna. Tapos, kapag wala itong share premium, at hindi pala lahat ng share premium, no? Share premium treasury shares dapat, no? At kapag kulang ito, saka tayo mag-debit ng retained earnings for any excess amount na hindi kayang saluhin ng share premium treasury shares. Okay? Now, for the retirement of shares naman, and by the way, no, bakit tayo pala nag-treasury shares at bakit tayo nagre-retire ng shares? No? So, ang isang function niyan ay, well, para hindi tayo magbayad ng dividends. So, we pay less dividends because we deduct our um, outstanding shares. And by the way, ano? ang kaibahan rin ng treasury share at retirement of shares, dito sa treasury shares, it reduces the outstanding shares but it does not reduce the issued shares. It's issued pa rin yung ating treasury shares. Hindi nga lang outstanding. Pero sa retirement of shares, both the outstanding and the issued shares are decreased. No? So next, dito sa retirement of shares, uh, if they have been retired daw siya kapag na-reacquire at na-cancel yung ating shares mismo. So, hindi na siya pwedeng i-reissue. Okay? When shares are retired, the total power value and the related share premium are derecognized. Any difference between the total amount derecognized and the retirement cost is accounted for as follows. So, if the power value and related share premium of the retired shares exceed the retirement cost, then nakakredit share premium retirement. Pero kapag less than the retirement cost, the difference is debited to the following in order of priority. Una, share premium treasury shares. At kapag kulang, we have retained earnings. Okay? So let's go to our examples. All right. So we have east and west. So for East Company, we reacquired 3,000 shares at 90 on September 1, 20x. Okay. So debit, treasury shares, credit cash, 3,000 at 90. Okay. Uh, the next entry, Alam ko, binago ko to eh. Hindi na siya independent scenario magkasunod, uh, magkasunod siya. Ano? So let me just retake a screenshot of the practice question that I revised. Okay. as well as the requirements. There we go. There we go. Ayan. So, <clears throat> East Company reacquires 3,000 shares at 90, and then 1,500 treasury shares were issued on November 5. So, debit, cash, credit, treasury shares. So, yung treasury shares natin, 1,500 at 90, pero na-reissue siya ng 100. So because the reissuance price is greater than the cost, we credit share premium treasury shares amounting to 15. In our next entry, 
one to treasury shares were issued at 70. So debit cash, one to times 70. Credit treasury shares, one to times 90. Okay. So meron tayong difference na 24. Kaya bang saluhin to lahat? Is share premium treasury shares? Hindi. Kaya, ang kaya lang saluhin ni share premium treasury shares ay 15. So yung butal, sasaluhin ngayon ni retain earnings. Kaya naman. Ang final answers natin, for the share premium balance, we can copy share capital here. Okay, that's 1.6. Yung share premium natin, 320. Wala na tayo ngayong share premium treasury shares, di ba? Zero out yan. We have our retain earnings from 1 million 80. Nagbawas tayo ng 9. Okay? Meron pa, pwede mo pang hatiin yan ng appropriated and unappropriated. And then meron tayong treasury shares. So kung retain earnings, unappropriated yan. Our answer would not be 1,071,000. Ano? Ang answer natin would be 1,071,000 minus the remaining balance of our treasury share. Meron pa tayong balance na 270 minus 108. So for short, parang minus natin yung buong 270. 909. Kasi yung ating na-appropriate appropriated na retain earnings would be the remaining treasury share balance na 162. Ngayon, ikompleto lang natin itong entry natin. Ano? Kita natin yung appropriation. So para tayong nagka-debit dito ng retain earnings unappropriated retain earnings appropriate amounting to 27 then when we reissued the shares pinaliktad na natin partially 108 kaya yung remaining na retained earnings natin na naka-appropriate ay 270 minus 108 which is 162 kaya 162 ito Again, itong unappropriated ay yung retained earnings natin na 1,080,000 tapos yung 9K lang na nabawas sa atin. And then, yung remaining na appropriated. Okay. So appropriated represents the remaining treasury shares. hindi lang pala 162 ano or hindi 162 kasi na-reissue na rin pala itong 135 so 27 na lang ayan so 27 na lang yung appropriated therefore treasury shares natin 27 so this would be the shareholders equity that would be 2 million 800 29,000. Let's go to the next question. West Company reacquired 4,000 4, of its issued shares and immediately retired them. So ano daw yung ating mga magiging share uh, journal entry? Ang requirement ko dito uh, in your seat work would be share premium if you belong to my review class. Ayan, kung hindi ka review class, kung regular in a class lang kita, relax ka lang. So, share premium case A, share premium case B, and then the retain earnings balance. Okay. So, una, nag-debit tayo ng treasury shares. Ah, pero at par... Ayan, the reacquisition cost is at 80 per share. So, 
pwede natin tong idiretsyo na treasury shares. This would be 4,000 times 80. And then, nakadebit tayo ng share capital. 100 par value, so 4,000 times 100. Okay? So, meron tayong butal na credit na 80,000. So, this would be credit to share premium. Pero, hindi siya under treasury shares. This would be share premium retirement. Pwede rin share premium regular. Okay? How about the second end? Share capital. And then treasury shares. So this would be 4K times 140. Be 4K times 100. Okay? So we have a difference of 160. Ang rule natin, sasaluhin muna to ni share premium. Treasury shares. So 10. 10 out of 160. So yung sasaluhin ni retail earnings is 100. So dati ano, mayroon pang allocation yan between share premium regular at retail earnings. Pero ngayon, diretsyo na lang daw na retail earnings. So we follow. It is what it is. So this would be 10,000, tapos yung iba sasaluhin ni Retail Earnings. Kaya naman, under case A, yung share premium natin would now be 80 plus 320 plus 10. Total share premium. Under case B, 330 minus 10. Under case A of our Retail Earnings, it would be the same. Under case B, it would be 1,070,000 minus 150,000. Okay? So that concludes our example for our uh, shareholders' equity, treasury shares, and retirement of shares. Our next topic would involve our stock rights and donated capital. See you in our next video.